See, like I said in the beginning, it didn't taste bad. This way, stay to get me back up to my place. Sex mark, you want the ballot on you, day one. We had to get up, it was magic, yeah. Magic grab, she get up. Nasty habits take a hole when you're not here. Ain't a hole when you're not here. Are you poor when you're not here? I'm saying. love this hair on me I was getting a lot of compliments um let's see I'll show y'all what I got I bought these lights which I want to try right now or maybe later bought some lettuce cause I'm finna cook some sour cream cook some sour cream I'm finna get cooked some steak tacos do y'all still use starch I feel like Starch was heavily used during my mom's time in the 80s. And then for a period of time, it was used with the millennials. But I do not think Gen Z even knows what this is. But that's y'all business. So, I've been running out of my Ruby um, Woo lipstick. If you don't know, that's the red lipstick that I have on most of the time. And I'm like, I'm not spending $20 on this lipstick again. And I tell y'all, I don't know, but I just, like, when I think about stuff really hard, it manifests. And they had a whole bunch of Ruby Woo at TJ Maxx for $9. And that's half off, if not more. I'm not good with math. So I got these at TJ Maxx, and I'm glad. Because Ruby Woo is definitely going down. And if you don't know, my favorite or most complimented perfume is the Ed Hardy one. And I did not know they had a body lotion. So I bought that to match the perfumes. And oh, what y'all want to know, Ruby Woo was $8.99. And they had a bunch. I bought my granny some Mac. They had these long lasting ones. She bought a fancy one. Let's see. This color. And this one I'm going to try. I'm going to show y'all what they look like, if y'all care. Ooh, and it's this. I'm not going to try it on. That one is for me. I remember makeup was really trending. Anastasia Beverly Hills was going. And I feel like makeup isn't as, uh, which one is this? This is the one I got my granny. Isn't as popular because there's so many. It's just like, what could you do? No, I remember the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow being the one and the only which i still have not tried i budget friendly <laughs> um bought this but i don't know i'm gonna tell y'all how it works but i said it looks like this would be really good i have been looking for a good shimmer 
And I got this for $4.99, which I think probably was a good deal because Nivea is not cheap. And I bought this mousse for my curls in my head. And I wanted to try this brow pencil. And I'll let y'all know how I go. So that is all I got from Rugs Lips, but that's the night for it. And I'm going to try this light, how bright it is, because I have like ugly yellow. And sometimes I just do not be feeling like hooking up, like biting to make my life. I want to show y'all what I got for one of these clearance stores. I don't know what you call it, but it's like stores where they have $10 days, $7 days up that they get in bulk from different stores. The one around here had two for one makeup and then and beauty and what else? A dollar day. I'm going to just show y'all what I got. So I got this. We'll see how it works. I got this next because I have oily skin, which isn't a bad thing, but it's bad when it's coming out of the makeup. So I got two of these 50 cents. I got this little mirror compact for a dollar, which I thought was just so cute, especially when you need to check something. I got this matte forever thing from L'Oreal. I'm going to just try it. And NYX glitter. No, this is actually for the um, lipstick. And then I had got the glitter eyeshadow one from NYX. Got these ColourPop eyeshadows, which I can't wait to try. I've been wanting to try this, but I'm just like, I'm not going to be paying anything. So I got these for 50 cents. Found this for 50 cents. Y'all know what this is. And I got to put this on. The lip bar tint to skin. And then I got in this for 50 cents. So I was excited about that. I always go on dollar day. That's just my thing. And now I'm going to... I think I'm... I mean, that's, that's about... I really like this look. I asked my husband to take my pictures but that's always a so what would you say it's always a it could be good or it could be bad type thing good or bad type thing and i was recently watching this tiktok of this girl do y'all expect for hairstylists to be late nowadays I honestly do and probably will continue to do my own hair until I find a reliable stylist. I went to one girl and she was on time. Customer service was good. She had her little conversations that she had in the background. But I really, I ain't gonna say it. But hairstylists and customer service down the drain to me. I feel like it's more of a headache to book an appointment than it is a therapy session, a release, a relaxed type day. I don't think it's the same as it was back in the day. But well, I'll talk to y'all when I get there because I don't got nothing to talk about at all. I don't